So we've been using the Bridge Pro keyboard for the 2018 iPad Pro for quite some time now, and when our review went up, we received a few comments asking to compare it to Apple's Smart Keyboard to help them figure out which keyboard to pick up for the 2018 iPad Pro. Let's get straight to the point here. Apple's Smart Keyboard is a thin, sleek, and seamless keyboard that is decent to type on. It barely has any key travel, and it sounds a bit rubbish when typing really quick. Here's what that sounds like. But all of this is paired using Apple's Smart Connector on the back of the iPad, so there's no pairing process or built-in battery whatsoever. That's why Apple was able to make it so thin and sleek and so seamless to use. The Bridge Pro keyboard, on the other hand, transforms your iPad Pro into a MacBook with its sturdy aluminum body that is cold to the touch and offers an almost unlimited viewing angle. The keyboard has decent key travel too. Like we mentioned in our review, it's not the best third-party keyboard we've typed on. We believe that the Zag Slimbook Go still wins here, but that comparison is for another video in the future. And here's what typing on the Bridge Pro sounds like. One of the many great features that I like from the Bridge Pro over Apple's Smart Keyboard is the fact that it has dedicated iOS shortcuts for media controls, screen brightness, and volume control which the Smart Keyboard doesn't offer. The keys are also backlit with up to three different brightness options, and there's actual key travel when typing which I've already mentioned the Smart Keyboard from Apple is lacking. The Bridge Pro also charges via USB-C, and battery life is supposed to last for a year. The Smart Keyboard only offers up to two different typing positions which is decent, but the Bridge Pro offers up to 180 degrees of viewing angle and it's free flowing. There's no hard stop, so however you want to position your iPad, you can do so by pushing it back and forth, just like a real laptop. Both keyboards also offer a drawing mode. It's a lot quicker to do this on the Apple Smart Keyboard, while the Bridge Pro is a little bit cumbersome to do due to the fact that you have to take the iPad out and flip it around and fold it back down. In terms of overall weight though, the Smart Keyboard barely adds bulk and weight when it's on the iPad Pro. The Bridge Pro is a lot heavier than Apple's offering, and it's also a lot thicker too. Although I don't really mind it at all, it's not as thick as the Slim Folio Pro from Logitech, but the added bulk is noticeable compared to Apple's Smart Keyboard. Now if you're looking for a slim and sleek keyboard, the Apple Smart Keyboard is the way to go. So Apple's Smart Keyboard at the time of making this video retails for $179 for the 11-inch iPad Pro, while the Bridge Pro for the 11-inch iPad Pro retails for $149. Now, I'm personally a big fan of the Bridge Pro keyboard due to its build quality, features, and price. The weight and added bulk on the 11-inch iPad Pro isn't as noticeable versus the 12.9-inch iPad Pro, but the sleek and seamless operation on Apple's smart keyboard is something third-party keyboard manufacturers just can't compete with. If I was in a market for an iPad Pro keyboard, I'd go with the Bridge Pro due to the fact that it's slightly more affordable, it has a better keyboard than Apple's offering, and the almost unlimited viewing angles increase the versatility and comfort leagues above Apple's own. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about both of these keyboards, leave them in the comments section down below. And again, we'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.